Now, I will explain the concept of pointers. Pointer is a variable that holds the address of another variable. We shall see how to declare the pointer. If I declare in a string p, it means p is a pointer to integer. It means p can store the address of variable which is of type integer. And if I declare here int asterisk c, it means c is a pointer to integer which can store the address of integer. If I declare here in place of integer, if I write here char, character, C is a pointer to character. It means C can hold the address of a variable which is of type character. For example, if one variable is here, int a is equal to 2. Sorry, it's not equal here. Int a is equal to 2. 2 is assigned to a which is of type integer. Then what can happen? We shall see one more step. I am writing character mm. ch is equal to b. ch is a variable of type character which has been assigned b character b a. Then we can write p is equal to address of a and ch address of ch. ch is a variable of type character so I am assigning character variables address to pointer to character variable. C is a pointer to character which can hold the address of character only so this character's address can be assigned to this C because I have uh, declared it pointer to character and here this is pointer to integer so I can assign the address of integer to this pointer p here. I can also write the same thing in this way also. Integer a is equal to 2 and integer pointer to integer is equal to m percent a. At the time of declaration, now I am assigning address of A to this pointer P here and character CH is equal to B. We assign to CH and pointer to character C to address of CH. Both the things are seen here how actually the things happen we shall see we know memory is arranged in one dimensional form so every memory location i am writing here every memory location i am taking every memory location as one byte block then there may be n number of byte blocks, each byte block can store 8 bits. So, the size of the character depends on the compiler. Here, I am assuming and I am taking, I am using GCC compiler. In GCC compiler, size of character is 1 byte. 
and size of uh, integer is 4 bytes, size of float is 4 bytes. For example, I am taking A has been assigned some memory. A has been assigned memory 255. So, A is equal to 2. 2 is assigned here at 255. Then, its address is 255. It means 4 consecutive bytes will be assigned 55, 56, 57 and 58. 4 byte blocks will be assigned to this integer. Okay. Now, character B. B is a B is the value assigned to character ch. C is a ch is a variable of type character. In GCC, it takes one byte. So I can assign at location two sixty four ch is equal to b. Here. Now, I will see this concept of these pointers. Pointer P has been assigned the address of A. Okay. So, I am taking these 4 byte blocks, 267, 68, 69 and 70 for this pointer P, which is holding the address of A. I can see here, A has been assigned here. A has been allocated this memory which is starting with 255 so P will be written as 255 A. Now uh, we have another pointer C which is holding the address of CH. CH has been assigned and look C has, CH has been assigned the memory location 264 but C, C is a pointer to character which holds the address whatever pointer is there which is of any type whether it's pointing to long, pointing to character, pointing to floor, pointing to double, pointing to integer it is holding the address address is of type integer so it will take the size of integer. So pointer to character, this C will also be holding the address of this CH. So it will take 4 bytes in GCC. So 4 consecutive byte blocks will be assigned to this pointer C. I am taking these 4 byte blocks as 250, 251, 252 and 253. And C is equal to address of ch where ch has been assigned 264 so i will write here 264 okay now this 264 will be arranged in 32 bits we shall see how the things will happen here if i write here the whole complete program uh, integer main integer a is equal to 2 integer a straight p is equal to address of a integer sorry not integer this is character character ch is assigned B and pointer to character address of CH. Okay, now we shall see here. If I print this percent D, comma, percent C. I am printing these values. I am writing it A and percent C is for CH A and percent D percent C this A. A 
is same as asterisk p and ch is same as asterisk c okay we shall see what is happening here this percent is for used for a what is the value of a here a is containing 2 so its answer will be 2 and percent c is has been used for ch what ch is containing v so this will be the answer here we are using these pointers we shall see what is happening now i will see p where is p here p is here p is containing 255 a streak has been used here we shall reach at address 255 which is here 255. Now, because of this asterisk, we shall enter into the byte lock or into the cell. So, what actually it is containing? It is containing 2. So, I am writing 2 here and asterisk C here. And you see what C is containing? C is containing 264 and I am reaching on 264, which is here because this is character variable so it will hold only one byte now at this address 264 asterisk asterisk is also known, known as in direction operator or dereferencing operator so at this address 264 we shall reach we shall enter into this cell but actually it's containing it's containing v so i am writing v here this is the concept of pointers. Now, if I write here, printf percent u percent u address of a and address of ch. Percent U is used for unsigned integers. So these values will be in decimal. So address of A. What is the address of A? Address of A, where is A? A is here. Address of A is 255. So it will be 255. And address of CH. CH is here and address 264. So it will be 264. Same thing can be written as percent u percent u but actually m percent e is holding m percent e is same as p here we can see m percent e is same as p so I can write in place of m percent a p and in place of M percent CH, I can write C here. So, what will happen here? P. What is the value of P? What P is holding? P is holding 255. So, I will write 255 here. And C. What C is holding? 264. So, I will write here 264. This is the concept of pointers here. Now, if in place of percent U, I use percent x or percent p what will happen print f percent p percent p for p and c what will happen here percent p this is used for hexadecimal so if this address is for P, but P is holding, P is holding 255, so 255, 255 can be written as in binary, this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. 255 and 264 can be arranged here. So 255 is 
सी में ऑल एट वन सो दिस इज हेक्सा डेसिमल आई एम राइटिंग द एड्रेस इन हेक्सा डेसिमल सो टू फिफ्टी फाइव कैन बी रिटिंग I will take these four bits here, and I will make its hexadecimal equivalent. This will be f. This will also be f, because fifteen is written f by f, and this fifteen can be written by f. And uh, if it's uh, uh, converted into the binary, we shall take four bytes. Sorry, four bits, and we can convert these four bits into hexadecimal. Okay, so this is FF. FF means for one bit only. Sorry, for one one byte only. What about the rest of the three bytes? This is the FF. Okay, then what are the rest of three byte blocks? So those will be zero 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 zero. Here eight bits are one. Rest of the bits are zero. So These least significant eight bits, least significant eight bits, or I can say here, if these are four byte blocks, these blocks bits eight bits are one, and rest of the blocks eight bits are zero. Okay, so four zeros of this block can be written as zero in hexadecimal, and eight zeros one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will take four bits. These four bits, hexadecimal equivalent of these four zeros will be zero, and for these zeros will be zero. So I can write double zero for. Eight zeros in hexadecimal. Similarly, double zero for this block and double zero for this block. So, hexadecimal equivalent of two fifty five in four bytes block will be zero 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 f f. If I write same thing, yes, and one more thing here, two sixty four. Or C, but how can two sixty four be written? We shall see here. Two sixty four. I will use two fifty six here. Two sixty two fifty six plus eight is two sixty four. Now remaining things will be zero. Okay, so what will happen here? We shall take four bits. These four bits, remaining bits will be zero. These four bits and remaining bits, ah, uh, twenty bits will be zero. Remaining these twenty bits will be zero. Four, four, four. These are twelve. Twelve, thirty-two minus twelve will be twenty. Now, I will take. It's a this is a hexadecimal equivalent. Its hexadecimal equivalent can be written as eight only. This zero's hexadecimal equivalent zero. This one's hexadecimal equivalent one. And remaining twenty's hexadecimal equivalent will be what will be there? Four bits. Four bits. Four bits. Four bits. This four bits, one, this four, 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 twenty bits. So its equivalent will be zero. Its equivalent zero. Its equivalent zero. Its equivalent zero. Its equivalent zero. So I can write here five zeros, five times zeros, 